Hey everyone, how are you? It is Lori and I'm here to do your daily oracle messages for you. I have the Oracle of Visions um, oracle cards here. We're going to start your reading with one of those. This is by Chiro Marchetti. All right, so we're going to start with one of those. I'll get you three yes or no answers today. I will also get you the how and when to your answers an angel number, and we're going to end today's reading, I think, with a Whispers of Love Oracle message. All right, so a Whispers of Love Oracle message. All right, let's start here with the um, Oracle of Visions by Chiro Marchetti. Marchetti, sorry. Marchetti. Let's see what we've got today. We have, oh, the ballerina on a bench, 33, sitting and waiting in contemplation. This feels like temperance energy, um, waiting on dreams, waiting for things to happen, having hope, star card energy is coming through here very strongly. We have the idea of um, new beginnings, fresh starts, excitement possibilities abundance balance is crucial right here let's go ahead and see what chiro had in mind for you and there's always a quote in here from somebody and today it is from henry david thoreau and it says in here and i do remember i did one of these readings and i said that oscar wilde was an actor no i'm not an actor or director he was um a writer Anyways, patience, waiting for the right moment is the key here today, okay? And the quote by Henry David Thoreau, Time is but the stream I go a-fishing in. I drink at it, but while I drink, I see the sandy bottom and I detect how shallow it is. Its thin current slides away, but eternity remains. I love that. All right, so in this card, we can see a ballerina is casting a golden line and lure which, with which to capture a desired goal or item. The process is calm, and it's planned, and the pace is leisurely. There is no rushing nor looming deadline. She will know when the right time has come and the appropriate moment. A kingfisher, this bird sitting next to her, is a harbinger of tranquility, and it accompanies, rewind, a, king, a kingfisher, a harbinger of tranquility, accompanies her and together they will wait. Despite the desire for results, some occasions or decisions simply should never be rushed. We should approach either with caution or with restraint. Waiting for the perfect opportune moment. We must also be wary of being too indulgent and devoting too much time waiting for some imagined perfect moment, person, or thing. There is a balance that needs to be had here. And card 33 is a six. That's speaking of that balance. So worthy opportunities might just be lost if they are overlooked in anticipation of some other intangible, better, quote, unquote, option to arrive. So while we're waiting and enjoying the moment and waiting for something to come in, don't forget to enjoy the actual moment. There's always an opportunity for you to take advantage of in every moment. Do you see it or not? Okay, so don't overlook your blessings um, that are right there for, available to you in every moment. All right, let's go ahead and see what answer number one, yes or no, is going to be today. What a beautiful message. This is already starting out. We do have Pisces energy in that card. We have a lot of abundance. It's all right there waiting for you. New beginnings, growth. All right, inner harmony, a sense of liberation, happiness, and joy. There will be feelings of complete freedom and self-sufficiency. 
There is incredible luck coming to you as a generous reward for your sincere inten intentions and your worthy efforts. This is a happy ending to a situation and a cause for genuine pride. What I heard was in a cause for celebration. Okay, let's see the how and when that's coming to you because I do feel the inner peace. Okay, you've got the excitement which is carrying over from uh, the sneak peek at the week and also the daily for Libras. If Even if you're not a Libra, you can always check out these readings that I put out every day. The general and the um, bonus reading or daily reading, whatever you want to call them. You know, you probably have Libra in your chart if you're resonating with anything that's on my channel, all right? So here, um, I do feel that inner peace as she waits for that exciting thing to come in, all right? She's found that inner harmony, that balance. Let's see when this is coming to you, okay? When is this incredible luck coming to you as a reward for your intentions and efforts, when is this coming to you? Nope, wrong deck. That's why it's not coming out. <laughs> Let's find out when. There it is already. It says, within the next three to four months, the bird of happiness lands in your hands. Look at this. Lands right next to you in the card, okay? Plans are implemented. Desires are embodied. This requires you to be very, very active. Who is more active than a ballerina? Boy, the skill there. Your ability for action brings you an unexpected triumph. The bird of happiness doesn't fly to just anyone. This is you creating your intentions. Incredible luck, okay? The bird of happiness is bringing in your good fortune. But why? From the hard work and your diligent, what does it say here? Um, your generous reward of happiness is coming to you because of, as a reward for your sincere intentions and your worthy efforts. Beautiful. All right, let's see what answer number two is. It's a no answer, but it says here, this sticky situation that you are involved in may require some gradual transformations and definitely some radical view changes. Perfection is never accomplished, okay? And it will be something that's just outside of your reach all the time. Incidents that refract your consciousness and perception are going to gently guide you toward a much bigger and brighter future, okay? Grandiose, very grandiose future. So whatever sticky situation you're finding yourself in, you have to change something about that situation. And it might be as simple as uh, doing a 180 on how you view that situation. How do you look at it? How do you react to it? Um, it could be leaving it. It could be telling somebody else to leave. It could be absolutely anything. But you are in a sticky situation. Maybe you've got glue all over your feet and you feel like you can't move. Now, that was meant to be funny, but I literally got a sense of feeling stuck. Like, I, I just can't move. And we have to keep in mind, there are certain things that can hold us back from maybe picking up and leaving right away. But we're never stuck permanently. All right, so please keep that in mind. You may feel stuck right now. You may need to look at things differently. Can you turn your own attitude around maybe so that you're not feeling as negative about the situation? Maybe you don't have, even pay any attention to that situation. Even if you're living in that house with that situation, can you just ignore that person, whatever's going on, be happy? And I don't mean ignore to the exclusion of doing your responsibilities. You know, not you can't ignore your kids. All right, let's see what we have here as the how and when you will overcome this, okay? And be gently guided toward a better future. It says here, your situation is like a green apple. Yes. You must first allow the apple to properly ripen 
before you'd sink your teeth in. Now I am hearing a, a, a green apple is very, very bitter. It's very difficult to, um, you don't, you want to spit it out. Okay. And I feel like that's the situation you are in. Like you don't want anything to do with it. It's just leaving a bad taste in your mouth when the time is right. So within the next four to five weeks or months, it's going to be different for each of you. You can more safely, safely enjoy the sweet taste of healthier living, okay? So something's going to take a little bit of time to develop, to come to you, to come to fruition, fruit, okay? When the time is wrong, make it right. Take the time to focus on changing your perspective of, of the situation. Often, it's just that simple, okay? And no, your situation is not simple. How you view your situation and how you can change your viewpoint of it, okay? And how you can take your time and, and change what's happening slowly. Let it progress. Let it ripen. Let it develop, okay? If you want to leave this situation, then give it time. Find out what you need to find out. If you want to stay in the situation and repair a relationship, say, or a job that just is overwhelming right now, but you want to stay, then figure out how you can view it differently so it is something that you enjoy doing again. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here as your third and final yes or no answer. It is a yes, and it says... This is a time for enjoying your achievements, rewards, and prosperity. The situation around you develops calmly and allows you to appreciate your own happiness. It gently transforms, transforms the situation so that you are given an ideal frame of mind. This is how you're going to gain your new perspective, how you can see things differently and feel uh, better about it. Look, it's right there for you. It came right out right after that. Beautiful. Let's see how or when this is going to come to you, my loves. I love this. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so within the next one to three months, the gates of success are going to open as if with a wave of a magic wand. This causes an unpredictable uh, development in your circumstances. Fortunately for you, success is in the end, okay? Thanks to your ability to cope with such difficult situations. So your ability to see this through, whatever it is, to change your perspective, to change your viewpoint, to do things differently, to develop a plan, to execute the plan, okay? That is your ideal frame of mind is right there for you. Putting you in the right place, feeling the right way, thinking the right way. Awesome. Let's go ahead and, oh, we're going to get you your angel number and then we're going to end with your whisper of love oracle message. All right, so let's get you your angel oracle number here. We have 2020, so that's like hindsight is 2020, and I do have to show you this was on the table still. So there is a big break coming in here for you, card 1515. So there's some sort of innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills, and goals. There is an opportunity, help, cash, extra cash, or other type of support that is coming your way. So keep going and have fun when you're doing what you have to do. So again, if you're putting up with a sticky or negative situation, try to find your own happiness within yourself and what you are doing. Don't focus on that negative situation. The most tremendous successes come from our passions, okay? All efforts will be rewarded for you big time. Now, that's a bonus card there because this was the one that came out. Now, it went from 1515 to 2020, and I say 2020 is hindsight. So here's your big break. Now, looking back, you can have compassion towards the situation. You can show mercy, diplomacy. You see the potential in 
taking your time to recover a relationship or, uh, you know, fix a situation at work or whatever's going on here. There's also a, your ability to adapt. I feel like you are able to adapt very, very easily. And we also have renewal. Okay, so this card here, your oracle message at the very beginning, is being echoed here in your uh, angel number 2020. Beautiful. I am so sorry, but somebody is smoking dope around me. I can't stand the smell of it. It smells like skunk. My whole house is just literally filled with it right now. They have to be sitting like right outside of my window somewhere. I've got a main sidewalk here, and I really kind of doubt it, but man, the whole house just reeks. I don't, you know, I'm not saying that it's wrong to do or anything else. I personally just don't care for the smell, okay? I've had my fun with it back in my teenage years, yeah. All right, I think that's probably the last time I had any. No, that's not true. Anyways, ugh. I'm going to tell myself it's not skunk, it's coffee. Because I lived in North Carolina by the 8 o'clock Bean Coffee Factory. And I used to drive by that every day and I'd gag. I would gag. I'd be like, oh my gosh, why does it always smell like a dead skunk? And I had a passenger with me one day and they said, Lori, that's the coffee factory. Doesn't that smell delicious? And I'm like, well, from now on when I smell skunk, I'm going to tell myself it's a coffee factory. <laughs> and I've gotten over that really horrible gag reflux that I used to get. I mean, it used to be so bad when I would smell skunk. So, anyways, a little side story there for you. Let's see what your Whispers of Love card is. Love is all around you, card 16, which is a 7. So you have 6 and then 7. And this says there is love everywhere around you all the time. All you have to do is acknowledge this as truth. Okay? Accept it as truth as fact absolutely beautiful let's see what the message is here and it says look around and recognize that love is showing itself to you always in different forms it may come in the smile on a stranger's face a simple act of kindness or the warm sun in a blue sky life is wonderful how lucky are you to be a part of this world if you feel you need a little bit little bit more love, look around you. Take in everything that is happening. Look at everything that you have personally achieved. That's where you're at, and you're excited and waiting for the new thing to begin. You can feel love from your family, your neighbors, friends, your co-workers, pets, or just anything in nature, okay? Can you feel the love? Think about the love in your life that you may not have noticed. Mm. Love comes in many diverse shapes and varieties. Understand who and what you love and who and what loves you in return. Here in this card, we see a woman spins around with her arms thrown out wide. The many images on her skirts, a skirt of individuals, couples, and nature reflect everything that's a part of her environment. Her open arms are a beautiful reminder that we should keep an open heart and an open mind because love is all around you always, okay? So just keep an open mind. It may be completely different from anything that you ever expected to come to you. Maybe you feel like you'll never be able to get out of this sticky situation, but if you can feel the positive energy, the love from the other things that you do have in your life that are good, you will get a different perspective. All right, my loves, until our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Please remember to tickle tap, boop or zap that like button if you enjoyed this message. Feel free to share it. If you're interested in personal reading, please email me. That information is below every single video. And, uh, yeah, I've changed my email address there, so it does say something different than what it used to. You can email me from that one, okay? I will send you all the details that you need. All right, until our energies cross again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.